Hi on, my name is Leah Farrell and I will be introducing you to the animation and illustration course in Athlone Institute of Technology. The course title is Bachelor of Arts Honours in Animation and Illustration and the course code is AL861. AL is at Lone Institute of Technology when you're researching the course on CAO website and 861 is the course code. Course points. To get into this course, you will need in total a minimum of 578 points. This sounds a lot, however, it is the combined total of your portfolio assessment scores and your leaving cert points. I believe it sounds much better this way. The animation and illustration course is combining two major creative industries. It is unique in Ireland. The aim of the course is to give graduating students a well-rounded industry-ready skill set through combining digital, up-to-date skills with uh, traditional well-walked paths. It will take four years to complete the course, uh, for which you will achieve a level 8 honours degree. Entry requirements. Note that these are minimum entry requirements, so of course you can exceed them. To get into this course, you will need to have a minimum of two H5s in two subjects and uh, O6 in four other subjects. Uh, QQ applicants must hold one of the following um, awards. Distinctions are required in three modules. This is very important. Further details on the application requirements can be found on EIT's website and of course you can always contact the institute. All applicants are required to present a portfolio. This portfolio should include your best work, only your best work. We would like quality not quantity. Uh, the detailed list of the portfolio requirements are on AIT's website. I will also show you two successful portfolios at the end of this video. Modules. Over the four years, the students will learn through practical, labs, and theory-based modules. The first year's modules are constructed to create a strong foundation in the student skill set. First year's theory modules are Explorative Ideation 1 and 2, Creativity in Context 1 and 2. Uh, one meaning first semester, two meaning second semester. Practical modules, which would be labs, explorative illustration one and two, explorative animation one and two, um, explorative drawing one and two. Second year follows the first year's modules by building on the existing foundation. Second year's modules are studio illustration one and two, studio animation one and two, studio drawing one and two. These mainly practical modules are taught with the mixture of traditional and up-to-date technologies. In addition to these, the students are introduced to narrative and script writing, practicing context theory into context themes, and placement preparation to enrich and strengthen the student ex experience, as well as creating a strong foundation in preparation to third and fourth year. All these modules are spread out throughout the year into two semesters. Each year, the student will take 60 credits, 30 credits in each semester. In third year, which is different from the rest of the years, um, the first semester is on campus. The second semester, the students will undergo placements where they will gather real life industry experiences from various studios and companies. During the first semester, the third year students will experience modules like advanced animation, advanced illustration, advanced narrative and script writing, theory into context critical issues. The second semester, the second semester, they will be placed with companies for the duration of the semester. All through the placement, the students will be given feedback, help and support from the faculty in charge. Fourth year is about the student's individuality and it is involved around uh, the student's major project. By the fourth year, the students will have a clearer idea of their artistic identity and this year, every one of them will be given the platform to showcase this. The first semester of the final year, the students create their preparation for their final project and dissertation. This semester is helping the students finalize their ideas. They will undertake modules like project proposal, final project, advanced drawing, dissertation proposal, and dissertation. The four years come to conclude in the final semester where the students finalize their main projects and dissertation. That is what the final semester's modules are called, in fact, final project and dissertation. And of course, at the end of completed four years, the students will receive the Bachelor of Arts Honours degree from Athlone Institute of Technology. A lot of the work during the four years is taking place in labs, practical workshops. All labs and practical work is facilitated by the Institute through well-equipped on-site facilities like computer labs, drawing room, animation labs, etc. Teaching style. 
all staff and faculty at EIT are really approachable. On institute scale, the students are given access to a wide range of student services, which can be accessed through Student Resource Center. In animation and illustration, the classes are dynamic and upbeat. Lecturers are supportive and easy to talk to. We encourage students to speak their own mind and create their own artistic language. Careers. On the completion of this course, the student's professional horizon will include different animation studios, TV and digital media studios, gaming industries, as well as individual artistic practices. Of course, there is always the opportunity of further studies in form of master's degrees and other level nine courses. Okay, in conclusion, I would like to show you some student portfolios that were successful in the past. This would be one of them. help you get an idea of um, how some of the students uh, present their work. So as you can see, the student included um, animation as well, uh, which is obviously very desirable given the fact that this is an animation and illustration course. Then there's some sketches. There's in fact lots of sketches. It shows the student's interests. It shows um, that he has enthusiasm for drawing and for creating his own artwork. It has different level of success. Um, obviously not everything is very successful. For example, this page is really nice. Um, he included some storyboards or sequential drawings. Again, he's telling us a story. Uh, movement studies, movement studies, again, very desirable. different facial expressions. Color studies. digital painting. So as you can see, you can find the whole mixture of styles. These would be caricatures. Okay, I'm also gonna show you a different portfolio that is rather different in terms of style and in terms of presentation as well. So um, the student presented us with various illustrations. They were quite well. Um, they're quite finished work. Obviously you don't have to finish them to this extent. Always uh, you can include some development work as well. We actually like to see development work too. illustration work.
that's it. In my portfolio, I included like a lot of portraiture because I thought like that's what a lot of colleges would want to see. But when I spoke to lecturers, spoke to lecturers in different places, it was kind of more they wanted to see what you can bring to the table and like what you're interested in as well as meeting the criteria that is on a portfolio course. So like having the storyboards, having the sketchbooks. The sketchbooks, again, don't be precious with them. Like if you want to draw a carrot, draw a carrot. Like it doesn't really matter. Like it's just a matter of just showing that you do do the work and you enjoy what you're doing. A variety of work is great. So to show that you can do a bit of everything, maybe a bit of painting, a bit of chalk, to show that you're exploring how to use different mediums. And I'd say um, a good basis in just drawing from life, um, studying, showing that you're trying to understand the fundamentals, even if you're not fully there, just showing the process of you trying to understand it really helps to show that you have the drive. I would say, yeah. put stuff that you're interested in into your portfolio it's people can get a feel of what you like and what you come across as with your portfolio so put stuff that you personally actually like um, even if there's a few pieces that maybe um, aren't as perfect as your other stuff it re if it really shows the um, style or the um, skill that you like to do into it, I would definitely say put it in because that's what makes you stand out is to have your own unique twist yeah. on things. Um, I can agree completely with Jasmine, like put things in that showcase you. Like, again, your portfolio is going to be part, like what the person who's judging it is going to see and it's going to base like quite a lot of your character based on what you do. And it doesn't have to be Primor primarily this particular style or in this particular medium go wild like have fun with it because you are showcasing you and you're showcasing that you have this drive to keep improving and showing that you're willing to do the work and you're ready to put the drive into this course help to run the Animation Society in AIT. It started up September last year um, and it was to kind of help develop a more social aspect to the course and the way for people, especially people outside of their own year and class to interact with maybe the year above them or the year below them and to have a much more better idea of the course of its whole, you know, of what people are doing all the way up to fourth year. Um, we organize a lot of events. We had a really successful pub quiz and we would do drink and draws, art competitions, sometimes movie nights, um, which are really nice because you get to see people that you usually don't see. In conclusion, I would like to show you some of our student work.
it in, so I called it in. End of story. Well, what this guy look like, anyways? Oh, he's a little guy, kind of funny looking. I mourned you, and in the third month of mourning you, I tracked you down. 